Welcome to Altium Designer 17 Advanced PCB Course Module Using Embedded Board Array Tools to Panelize a PCB Design for Production. All board fabrication houses can panelize your design. In some cases, you want to create the panel yourself. We will start with a template that represents a 14 by 28 panel. Opening up the panel template PCB file, we will walk through the process of panelizing 10 copies of the Xilinx Spartan PCB board. Taking a look at the source PCB file, we see there are a number of layers that we will not want to display on the panel. This would include the various mechanical layers, in particular the title blocks layer. So on the 14 by 18 panel, open up the view configuration window so that we can disable those unneeded layers. We will want to ensure that the routing toolpath and all of the panel named related mechanical layers will be visible. Now with the layer view set up, to start the process, click on the Place pull-down menu and select Embedded Board Array Panelize option. This opens up the Embedded Board Array configuration window. In order to select the PCB design we wish to use, click on the triple dots and navigate to the desired file. Clicking Open sets this board as the basis for the array. Notice that the size of the source PCB is shown now in the Embedded Array panel. We will create a 2x5 array by setting the columns to 2 and the row counts to 5. Note the layer stackups are compared between the source PCB and the current one to ensure that they are compatible. This is an important check, and if there is a mismatch, it must be fixed before moving forward. We will set the spacing between the copies of the PCBs to 94 mils to allow for the proper tool clearance between the boards. You should verify with your fab house what sizes are supported or needed for the routing. At this point, we can go ahead and click OK to place the array centered on the PCB. There is a lot of data involved in this array, and that will impact the speed of placement, so be patient and place it very carefully centered. Now that we have the array placed, we will want to look at the resulting PCB in 3D. We see currently that it's a single board. These boards will need to be parted from the panel using a router. We will need to add the tool routing traces to provide the tool path for the router to follow when separating out the individual PCBs from the panel. To add a route tool path, we will use the Design pull-down menu, selecting Board Shape, Create Primitives from Board Shape, and select the Route Tool Path layer for the primitives. This will use the individual boards in the array to place a track around each for the tool routes. We will want to set the route to be 93 mils wide, and also ensure to check the Route Tool Guide option before hitting OK. Going into 3D, we see that all the instances of the PCB array are cut out. At this point, we need to provide tabs to hold the individual PCBs in the panel for fabrication and assembly. And then we would want to include mouse bytes to facilitate the separation of the boards once assembly is complete. To add the tabs, we will use the Edit, Slice tracks to cut the route tracks at strategic locations all around the array. First, we set our layer to the Route Tool Path layer. Then we click on the Edit pull down menu to select Slice tracks. Hitting Tab, we set the width to 240 mil to match the predefined mouse footprints that we have in our included library. These were created for the particular fab house and should be customized for your fab house as needed. Now the mouse pointer turns into crosshairs. We would click on the left side and stretch the cut across the array both horizontally and then vertically to provide tabs securing the PCBs in the panel. Please note I'm not being too careful with the placement of these tabs. I just want to show you the illustration of how to put them in. You're going to want to ensure that they do not interfere with any components, especially those that might be affected by the stress that occurs during the board breakout process from the panel. Looking at the 3D view, we can see the results. We will want the preferences for the PCB to have Snap to Center set and disable the Smart Component Snap. Now in the PCB view, click on the Snap tab to ensure that the Snap to Object axes and Snap to Object hotspots are in fact checked. Before placing the mouse bytes, ensure that we have the Route Tool Path layer selected as a guide for the placement. Now we will place the mouse byte footprints from the library. Start placing the double-sided breakout footprints all around. Remember to hit the Tab key in the beginning and hide the component designator to avoid the clutter. We will use the end of the tracks to align them. Looking in 3D, we see the results, the routing cuts and the tabs with the mouse bytes. 
There is another option for separating the PCBs from their panel. The fab house can in fact score between the PCBs and then snap them apart. This is called V-scoring and it can provide a cleaner edge than routing. Let's look at how this is done for our panel. Opening up the 14 by 18 panel V-score PCB, we see that it is empty except for some lines in the single layer display mode. This is a result of the reference PCB that was used in the array and needing to be resynced with this copy of the PCB to the local version, ensuring that we have all the layers visible. We were originally in single layer for viewing the lines for clarity. Let's double click on the array and reset it to the Xilinx PCB. Now you can see the 2x5 array of the Xilinx PCBs. We would want to place the vScore note from the breakout library and the lines to guide the scoring. It is important to work with your fab house to determine the parameters needed for the vScore processing and be sure to include the notes for the vScoring. This completes the instruction on panelizing the PCB using embedded arrays. Please do the embedded array exercise.